Gary Fox and uh, tonight we are going to try to get some sanity. Uh, seriously, this is the last step we're going to do on this uh, biasing circuit. We'll have some more to talk about later on, but right now, for the general part, um, we've got some really crazy uh, answers here for our resistors. They just don't come in those sizes. So what we'd like to do is use the standard size resistors. And besides, once I went to the uh, to the full-fledged model, I no longer met my uh, standard, what my design goals was, which was 3.75 volts across the transistor. Uh, I have 4.45. I've added this voltage probe across there so I didn't even have to calculate that and then also uh, we're not up to 50 milliamps we're only at 46 milliamps for IC so let's see if we can get these values the same so the first step we got to find out is what are the standard values to do that we'll go to the net we'll type in straight standard resistor values and once I did found a, a really good PDF here. This one happens to be from Colorado and uh, probably University of Colorado. We got the standard values for 5% resistors. 5% is probably the values that we want to use. You can buy 1% but you're going to pay a little bit more money. And uh, for us hobbyists it's not that much more but and you still have to buy minimum values and so on and so forth. So let's try to stick with the 5%. So I got that. I printed it out because uh, we're going to turn that off to go look at the thing. So, we'll look at this. I am high on my value across this. And I am low on my value of uh, current. The first one I'm going to decide to change is, is RC. And when I change that, what I'd like to change it to is uh, it can be changed without affecting this biasing circuit. So that's why that's my first one. And I would like to make it higher because that would lower this, re this voltage right here. So the next highest value after 155 is 160. So we'll change this to 160. Remember to push enter. And now we'll do the uh, DC bias simulation and then I'll do the uh, full simulation, the DC simulation to get this answer. So we went down there and we'll have to redo the uh, bias simulation to get all those numbers. And we didn't really affect the, uh, the current through the thing. So we kind of, we got pretty close to what we wanted to do on that. So we're going to try 180 on this. We're going to go a little bit more. 180 ohms. Remember to press enter. Okay. DC bias. Simulate. Back to DC bias. Will you give me some crap? Oh, okay. Close window. Now back to DC bias. Now simulate. Back to DC bias. Okay. We're now at three and a quarter, which is a little bit low. But we want to go, because we just want to be at three, 3.75. But we're still low on our, uh, low on our feedback resistor. So let's take us back down to 160. And again, press enter. Obviously, I got a block with that. Okay, and while we're doing that, let's see what this one is. 69. The closest value for that would be 68. And I think that's where I want to go because the next value would be 60, would be 75. So we'll make it 68. Press enter. And let's see where we're at now. Calculate DC bias. Simulate. 
have to go to simulate to get to recalculate that number and then DC bias to see everything else. Okay, we've increased the, uh, the negative feedback and we now have about four volts. I think we're getting close to where we want to go. Now what we need to do is change these bias resistors here. Okay, the closest to 339 is 330 and we'll change it to that even though that's going to take it in the wrong direction because that's going to lower this which is going to lower the amount of uh, the amount of bias okay we'll go ahead and simulate Okay, we're 427. We have this at 46, 4.27. All right. We are going to lower this number. And the next one below at 868. I'm right in between 910 and 820, we're going to try 820. As you can see, it's a lot of what I call poke and hope. Simulation, calculate the DC bias. We have to do that first. And then it, since it wipes everything out, we do a... Uh, we have to do it again. Okay, I have got across this 3.74 which is really close really what I want and I have got 49.2 which is getting really close so I'd say we're done we're at all standard values this is where this is where we would build our circuit if we were going to build it so you can see it was basically play with it take it in small steps everything affects everything else and so you just keep simulating. I think I was going through one step too many. Let's try something here. I'm taking that one value wrong. I'm going to do a uh, DC bias. Simulate. It stayed at the same. You now it's because somebody didn't hit enter. Somebody has got a case of the idiot right here. Okay, now let's do a uh, DC bias. Simulate. Okay, yeah, you have to do both steps. Okay, so we'll take this back to 360. Hit enter. DC bias. Simulate to get to change the value down there. And we're back. So that's the values we'd use. All of those are standard values for the resistor. That is where our circuit will stay for now and forever. Appreciate you listening. Hopefully you got something out of this. Um, and uh, this is Gary Fox for Create Me.